y'all ready to cook today so honey let me tell y'all we're gonna do some uh air fried whole chicken this is gonna be my second time to do it and the first time i was so impressed so i had to do it again and then our side dishes would be dirty rice out of the box this is the only one i love it's tony satchelways we gonna we gonna do this with one pound of ground beef okay and then we're going to do some field peas and green beans together and so i have both of these cans over here but we'll do it once we get this chicken in the air fryer now one thing about it i love to season my chicken the night before so this is my seasoned chicken underneath the the breast skin there is a lots of butter it is seasoned on the front and the back. Now, the key to cooking a whole chicken is to put it in breast side down first for 30 minutes, and then you're gonna flip it and do it again for another 25 to 30 minutes. However, you're gonna get your thermometer because you want your thermometer to register to 165, meaning that the chicken is done good. So this is the part where I take my thermometer out and I actually put it, uh-oh, we better rinse that off. Uh, I actually, uh, Put it in the refrigerator so that it can uh, go down to zero because right now it's sitting at 50 so you know we got to bring that down uh, to room temperature so let's start with this y'all this is my air fryer it is five pound air fryer as well this is it i love it what i'm going to do I'm gonna spread with some canola all at the bottom. Don't forget to do this, guys. And we're gonna cook it at 360 for 30 minutes, okay? So, here we go with the chicken. Can y'all see me over here? Well, let's do this. Don't forget, y'all, put the chicken in breast side down first for 30 minutes. Let's bring that down. All right. Ooh, look at that chicken, y'all. Going in, breast side down. Now, I have some seasoning in this bowl. I do not want to waste it. I'm going to put it back on the back because, you know, it was sitting there all night. And then I have some extra seasoning as well. Let me wash my hands and get that. Now, uh, I had uh, put my seasoning in this bowl, so I, I, I had some left over, so let's just get that on the back so we can cover those empty spaces. Oh, this is going to be a good chicken, y'all. Mm, oh, and that seasoning smells so good. I'm going to tell y'all what I mixed in this seasoning as well. We'll say that. Now, we're going to put this, see it? We're going to put this in for three uh-uh. No, I don't want that right there, y'all. Uh, 360 for, uh, thirty minutes. There you have it. And we'll let it do its thing. So we're going to uh, move this back and we'll get started with the dirty rice, y'all. So move back a little bit. Move back. Move back. So let's get started. Let me put this in the refrigerator. Let's get started with the dirty rice. Let's bring that up close. I want y'all to see in that pot. 
So we're going to start off <clears throat> under medium high heat and we're going to do one pound of ground beef in that pot. Let's get that in, y'all. I want to break it up. We will wash our hands, don't worry. All right, that is done. Oh, let me tell y'all what was in the bowl for the chicken. I did a tablespoon of smoked Spanish paprika. I did a tablespoon of, I did a half a, a teaspoon of, no, I did one teaspoon of salt, and I did a tablespoon of everything else. I did a tablespoon of black pepper. I did a tablespoon of garlic and onion powder. I did a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. And I believe that was it for that. So, yeah. So in this pot, I have already pre-cut what I'm going to use in this dirty rice. We're going to use garlic. This was five cloves of garlic, y'all. Uh, this is one medium onion that I divided because I'm going to put the onion, garlic, and celery also in those field peas. And I'm going to put in, in this uh, dirty rice, I'm going to do the garlic, the onion, the bell pepper. The bell pepper was half of a, uh, a large bell pepper. And the celery was two stalks of celery and some of the leaves uh, here as well. So, you know, for the dirty, dirty rice, it calls for two cups, two and one-fourth cup of water, if I'm not mistaken, y'all. Forgive me, because I'm looking at it. Two and one-fourth cup of water. Let me find my one-fourth, because I like to have my stuff already ready, which I should have had before I got on here. Let me find my one-fourth cup. Ready to go. Y'all, I love dirty rice. Now, I can't make it homemade like my mama. But y'all, y'all want to break it up really well, okay? Now, once this starts to brown it real good, we'll then throw in um, some seasonings. But right now, we're going to put in our onion and stuff because we want it also to get soft in this uh, cooking. So... I guess I ought to pull out my purple, uh, my purple uh, cutting board, y'all. Y'all probably tired of seeing this orange one, huh? And I'm putting everything in, y'all. Y'all see, I, you y'all already know me by now. I love a lot of fresh veggies in my stuff. So that's getting. Ooh, I don't want to burn myself. 
And we're going to cook that together. Y'all, don't forget your, 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 your fire is on medium high. Incorporate that in real well, y'all. Because y'all want everything to cook really soft. Come on back in here. Where you running? Where you going? So in here, y'all, we're going to put salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. That's it. That's all. And I'm going to have to open up some more because there's barely none in there. Put a lot of seasonings because it's a lot of seasonings already in that tuna sachets dirty rice mix. So uh, let's do a half a tablespoon, y'all, of of uh, of all except for the salt. We're gonna do a half a tablespoon. So I might not have to open up that other one. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh, me and this pepper though. <laughs> we can put in hot ass. We're gonna stay, we're gonna stay with a half a tablespoon, y'all. But with the salt, we're gonna put a half a we're gonna put one teaspoon of salt to taste. All right, that's it. That's all. Y'all is smelling good. Sometimes uh, when I do this rice, I try to make it more of um, homemade. And if I think to buy some calf liver, I'll put, I'll brown the liver, get it tender, and and I put it in here as well. And sometimes I even put a um, pan sausage mixture in my grease, y'all. But I'm gonna be making some cornbread dressing for Easter, so. I'll just use my pan sausage for that. Y'all, don't that look good? Let that cook, y'all. Y'all want all that pink out of there. I want that pink sitting in there. Now, over here, we're going to get some butter. I'll say a tablespoon of butter, but that's like a tablespoon and a half of butter. Just so we can soften these fresh veggies for the field peas and the green beans together. Y'all remember we did that in the old school days. Well, I do not like no mess, y'all. <laughs> having a problem over here. See a little salt. Can't have that. Oh, that smell good in that pot. So we'll cut this on for, we're going to put this on a medium, medium heat to melt that butter out. We don't want to make the butter brown. We just want to melt it down just enough to put those fresh veggies in there uh, to get them soft. And don't forget, y'all, we have to drain this grease off of here. Now, remember, I like to get 93, uh, I mean, 90, whatever it is, something, 90 something, 10, 90, 10. But this time I got 80, 20. So, yeah, I do see it's quite a bit of oil. So, we will be draining that oil, y'all. But it's sure looking good, ain't it? Ooh, that dirty rice is gonna be good. My uh, young son, that's his. This is one of his favorite side dishes for me to cook. Let's get that melted, and I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm re and I'm not gonna put too much seasoning in here either, y'all. But we're gonna put enough. So let's go ahead and get this new garlic open.
they, I'll tell you one thing, they sure do close it good. They make sure you have to fight to open it, these little containers, child. All right, we're ready to go. I will follow him, follow him wherever he may go. Oh, church was good today, y'all. Really, really good today. Yeah, we're gonna be ready to drain this in a very few minutes. Y'all see how the veggies cook down when you add it in your ground beef so it's going to cook down even more because you know you have to let this cook for 25 minutes. Look at that. They do cook down, y'all. Let's go ahead and add our veggies and this butter. All of them. Well, my pepper, y'all know I like my pepper down here when I'm doing it like this. Why? I don't know. I think uh, when you when you season in layers, it makes your dish really, really good too, y'all. So come on, honey, cook it down. And I'll I drain the the uh, the green beans, y'all, because I think it's enough liquid in those field peas, or you know, snap beans or whatever you want to call them. Uh, that's gonna be good. So uh, I'll be back, let me drain this meat, and we're gonna get the seasoning in, and we'll get started again. All right, we have drained that meat, y'all, so let's put in the mixture of Tony Saturates. This is what it looked like. Well, y'all know, huh? So here we go. We're gonna put that in there. We're going to add two and one fourth cups of water to that. We're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to turn it down low and uh, cook it for 25 minutes uh, until it is the rice is tender and fluffy. Get that a good stir, y'all. Oh, that's going to be so good. Look at that good brown color. Even if you put your, your chopped livers in here, it makes it a good brown too. It really do make it taste more homemade than anything. So y'all, let's, let's get that to a boil. are cooking just perfectly over here. I know you cannot see in this pot, but how about we bring it over to you? That's what it's looking like over here for them field peas and snap beans or green beans, if you will. So we about to get them incorporated as they come to a boil. I'm going to put in my drained beans first. Only one can. Uh, it suffices with this. And let's get that incorporated and all that good butter down there and the onions and pepper down there. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. I want that to cook just a bit, y'all. This is coming to a boil, as y'all can see. And uh, over in this pot here, we're going to put garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Simple, y'all. But because those beans, they come from the can, I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of both the onion and garlic powder. I'm going to do a whole tablespoon of pepper because that's what I like. And of course, we're going to be very easy on with the salt, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt because I don't know how much salt is in those glory seasoned 
VOPs and SNAPs, y'all. So, uh, this rice is now coming to a boil. Look at all them good seasonings, y'all. Oh, that's going to be so good. And you know, one box is enough because, you know, I'm cooking just for myself. Only for myself. So, yeah. So, we're going to turn this on low. We're going to cover. And we're going to let cook. Uh, I actually want to change burners, y'all. Can I do that? I, I want to get this off this front burner. We'll put it on the back burner, y'all. And we'll put it on between four and two. And I know, I know for sure that that's low. I need y'all to follow me on that. Oh, that smells good. We still have 11 minutes on the air fryer, but um, I'll come back when I'm ready to flip it, y'all, as soon as I get these field peas in this can, in this pot. Oh, oh, y'all, that's, oh, this is old country food now, honey. Oh, what y'all talking about? Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. So, let's get the pepper in. Well, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon, y'all, because I really don't know. It's my first time doing it out the can, y'all. The same for the garlic powder and onion, as I stated. Because you don't want it to taste like the can. You really don't want it to taste. Because normally, y'all know I rinse my stuff. I don't know if that's enough. That is enough salt. And y'all, we're just going to let that simmer. I'm, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like once I get it all good and stir it up. Oh, that's going to be so good. So let's start this timer. 25 minutes for that rice out. Oh, I'm going to bring y'all over here to see this. I brought my hand, y'all. That's what that's looking like over here. Y'all see it? It's going to be good, y'all. And we're just going to let this cook down for about uh, 15 minutes or so, y'all. So, we got that on. I'll be back when it's time to flip the bird. All right, y'all. We back. This is the chicken. It's time to flip it over. So, now let's give it a flip. Ooh, honey, let I, wait, I need some help with this one. Wait a minute, y'all. Let's see how we're going to do this. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Let's put the rest of that seasoning on there. Look how juicy that is, y'all. That's all that butter I had underneath that skin, honey. Oh, yeah, this is going to be some scrumptious. Ain't no sense of wasting it. Now we're going to put it back in the air fryer for 25, I'm going to say 25 minutes. And um, then we'll get the thermometer and check it to make sure it's at 165. So here goes, y'all. There you go. Look how pretty that is. Let's get it back. And uh, there you have it. I'll be back, y'all, when the finished product is ready. Peace out. Alright y'all, that chicken cooked. I had to cook it for another like 10 minutes. Uh, so let's cut into the breast and let's see what we're going to see y'all. It's good and crunchy. Oh, oh if y'all can see them 
It, oh, can y'all see them juices in there? My oh yeah. oh, I gotta bring y'all a close up. Y'all got to get in there. Get in there, y'all. That is so much juice up in there. Oh my goodness. I tell y'all, and then you know, once you get it out, uh oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Perfectly cooked. Look at that. That's tasty. Oh, it's like butter. It is like butter. Butter. Here, take a bite. Mm, oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. That is some good. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, you gotta do it. Peace out.